protocol for concussions begins when the athlete is symptom free. There are five stages in a concussion return to play protocol. The first stage is very light exercise and the target heart rate is about 30 to 40 percent of their maximal exertion. It is recommended that the athlete exercises in a quiet area such as the training room. They do not do any impact activities. They should limit their head movement, limit concentration activities, and should do about 10 to 15 minutes of light cardio. The exercises they should do in this stage involve very light aerobic training, such as a stationary bike, seated elliptical and treadmill walking, submaximal isometric strengthening, such as quad sets, hamstring sets, resistive band rowing, straight leg raises, and resistive band ankle strengthening. Range of motion exercises, for example, lower body stretching, cervical range of motion, and shoulder stretching, and low level balance activities such as the Romberg exercises and single leg balancing. If they continue to be asymptomatic with these exercises, they can move on to stage two. Stage two of the return to play protocol involves a progression from very light exercises to more moderate exercises. The target heart rate during this stage is about 40 to 60% of their maximal exertion. During this stage, it is recommended that the athlete exercises in the gym. Various equipment should be used the exercises should allow some positional changes in head movement, some low level concentration activities should be involved, and the athlete should do 20 to 30 minutes of cardio. The exercises the athlete should do include light to moderate aerobic training, such as a treadmill, bike, or elliptical, light weight strengthening exercises, such as resistive band exercises, wall squats, lunges, and step ups, active stretching, such as lunge walks, side-to-side -side grunt stretching, or walking hamstring stretching, and moderate balancing activities such as the Romberg exercises, Swiss ball exercises, and single leg balancing exercises. If the athlete can do these exercises without any symptoms, they move on to stage three. Stage three of the return to play protocol involves more aggressive exercises. The target heart rate in this stage is 60 to 80% of their maximal exertion. It is recommended in this stage that the athlete can exercise in any environment. Strength, conditioning, and balance exercises should be integrated, and concentration challenges should be incorporated. A few exercises that the athlete can do in this stage involve moderately aggressive aerobic exercises, such as jogging on the treadmill, a stationary bike, and elliptical, and active stretching exercises. Strength exercises at 80% of max heart rate, including dynamic strength activities. Impact activity running parametrics with no contact, such as agility drills, zigzags, and ladder. Stage four for return to play concussion protocol is sports performance training. The athlete's heart rate should be at 80% of max exertion. It is recommended for the athlete to continue to avoid contact activity, but resume aggressive training in all environments. Athletes should start off with dynamic training and then go into sports-specific drills and training. Stage 5 return to play concussion protocol includes sports performance training. Athletes' target heart rate should be at full exertion. It is recommended that the athlete initiates contact activity as appropriate to sport activity, full exertion activities for sport activity. It is recommended that the athlete does exercises including sport specific activity, practice, and game in intensity training. If an athlete reports having signs and symptoms again after their second day or third or fourth day of concussion return to play, the athlete needs to go back to the day day before.